hi everybody how you all doing good it's you welcome back to another video on my channel my name is blessing and this is my blessed on tv in this video we are going to be talking about the eastern security network that nandi kano the leader of ipob who is currently in exile has put together for the safety and security of the southeastern region so you're welcome to my channel i like to say thank you to every one of you who support this channel i appreciate that support and if you're new here i hope you are going to smash that subscribe button and the like button and also the notification bell so you know when i upload a new video so moving on quickly without wasting your time over the weekend on saturday precisely nandi kano the leader of ibob he came online and gave a speech and he said that he has formed a security network and this security network is going to be something that is going to be used to protect the southeast and he said and i quote that this eastern security network is the last line of defense that they are putting up against this full and injury so it's the third and last line of defense key was third and last line of defense so what was the first line of defense it was the Biafra Security Services. Yeah, Biafra Security Services. So, I don't know what people are jubilating about. So, he brought out this young man. I'm showing you the video. I'll just let you to be looking at what I'm talking so that I will be talking so that, you know, the video doesn't drag too long if I have to show you the videos and continue talk, you know, and continue talking. But I'll see how it goes along the line. But anyways, you can see these young men and women, they are here in somewhere in the forest. Um, you know, we don't really have deep forest like that in the southeast. So anyway, they are there and they gathered and they are marching and doing parade and everybody is happy and saying, yes, finally, our, our land is secure. Our land is secure. Our land is secure. We are going to deal with them. Those Fulani headsmen, those Fulani, this and we are going to deal with them. There's nothing uh, saying that I'm supporting uh, Fulani headsmen or anything like that. Like I've always maintained, if there's a problem with Fulani headsmen, it's a national problem and we must remain within the legal boundaries of the country you know regardless of how you feel towards the country you have to remain within the legal boundaries because of your peculiar history your peculiar history must never leave your subconsciousness because you have a peculiar history and that peculiar history is the biafra war of self-defense that took place for three years and we have the casualties and this must always resonates within your subconscious mind to say that yeah all this thing is happening and uh, you know people look in this region and there is already an assumption at the mind of everybody so whatever you are doing you must remain within the confines of of the law and if there is none existing just like they did with Amoteku, you know where every house of assembly enacted laws that are backing it you do that you see so we see a situation whereby nandi kano brought all these young men and lined them out and they were dancing on uh, inside the bush they were marching inside the bush and uh, of course if you look at the video very well pay attention to the cutting and joining not all of them are in our place some were dubbed you just have to take a closer look so if you look at the vegetation and the people very well you will see the manipulation but that's not the point of this video the point of this video is that he's seemingly saying that i have an army that is ready and combat ready and you know we're gonna deal with them and you have to realize that this is not the first time this is not the first claim there is nothing new about this and i made my point in my last video i said there is no biafra agitation going on what you have is a ponzi scheme and so is all these people who are here matching it's a charade there's nothing going on there's nothing going on and this is not the first time you remember he said that this is eastern security network is going to be the third and the last line of defense so you have to ask yourself what was the first line of defense what was the second line of defense what was uh, and this now is the 
what was the first line of defense what was the second line of defense and now this third defense so you need to go back to the drawing board and say okay the first line of defense what did they do what was their impact how did they defend this land and then the second part of this uh, uh, defense that he put up you see what wh where were they what was their impact did you feel it did you see them defending the land so again you need to go back and think okay so there was something going there was security put together bss was there and they, they were supposedly de defending the land so where is all the cry coming from so if the bss the first line of defense was there and the second one the volunteers they are there and all this time you have been crying the killani the killani the killani the filani the filani eh? so every day you are crying the fulani the fulani but you had the bss you had your volunteer and that was your first line of defense this is your second uh, line of defense and now the third line of defense so while we are keeping stock um, i want you to be looking at the videos because i just want you to see that there is nothing new in this is just a charade what he has put up is a scheme because this is like a, a ponzi scheme and now he has put it out and he said look at what i'm doing so pay money so that we are going to fund this and people are going to be paying money because they believe there is a troop on ground training that is going to defend them have you ever seen anywhere they use sticks and doing obikerenke inside a bush eh? so and all this kind of uh, <laughs> songs doesn't fight war but anyway this is what they believe and so he lined them up this is not when they started they have been doing obikerenke they have been doing we are good to go we are good to go they have been doing it eating do i do do doing like this they have always been doing it for them this is a show of force but we see through this this is a charade and this is not only a charade this is endangerment this is giving somebody the license and a reason to decimate your region to your house this is something like you know you are showing something like this and say oh you are formidable you have this force on the ground and you know of course you don't have guns that you are showing you don't have guns. you are having um, sticks that you are have carrying up and down yeah let's assume that the federal government of the country now thinks okay yeah they are having sticks but you don't know what they have behind you don't know the sticks are just you know for for deception perhaps they have it somewhere and then they just take a gis uh, map and look at and look at it and very quickly they will see the terrain wherever they are and they throw one there hey they are killing us the un the eu oh come oh they will bring the pictures they are killing us they are killing us they've been killing us this is what is going on this is a ponzi scheme this man needs money he wants you to contribute money for this scheme he has put together nothing is happening i've told you guys in my last video some people did not accept it some people insult me they say anything but i'm saying it to you and anybody that doesn't see this through i'm sorry for you guys you know i'm sorry for you guys because you don't know what you are inviting have you ever seen anybody in, 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 in you know lining up their young men in this number all over the place aggrieved with tension with negative emotion and they are happy and clapping yes can anything good come from a negative influence and a negative emotion and a negative energy can any good anything good come from it and this is going to play out in your region in your doorstep and you are happy and you are clapping how can you see something that can degenerate into full-blown conflict and you are happy you are clapping during biafra we didn't have food do you have food now can you have five days supply just five days supply okay let's look at this 2020 those of us who are here up until now to god be the glory how has it been for you during the lockdown 
lockdown is just a a little semblance of what it can be like lockdown you are not able to go where you want you are not able to go to school everything is regimented but it's worse because at this time you have to be escaping into the bush you have to, you can't live in your house do you know where you want to go do you, are you prepared to live in tent cities in camps are you people knowing what you people are, are wanting like this you want somebody that is in exile somebody that is not there that somebody that has nothing to lose somebody that doesn't have his children there somebody that his future is not tied to that place you want to come and bring the solution that he first of all to decimate to destroy like my uh, top fan here on this channel he wrote it very clearly he said destruction is very very easy and this is what you people are clamoring. Hey, hey, hey. You know, after Biafra, we have rebuilt to the extent that, you know, we survive. We are supposed to look for how to thrive now. This is the time to thrive. But no, they don't want to thrive. They want to be in that constant struggle of survival. So now you, you destroy what you have built and then you start from all over again for the survivors will begin to pick the ruins again this is where you people are going but you don't know but you are clapping you are happy that can we deal with them do you know i want to take you back a little bit i want to take you back a little bit to the first line of defense that is the bss so the same way he is parading these people, that was the same way he paraded those ones. And do you know that over 80% of those people are no more? These young men, that is how he paraded them. And they were there. They were there doing parade and he's there receiving salutes. This is only what he's after, that glory. This guy is a megalomaniac. This is only what he's after, to collect a salute and to be in ultimate comfort. And this he was doing in his father's house, in his father. He doesn't have his own house. He didn't go and look for a place, that, an enclave, a bush or one place that he can establish and be doing his thing. But no, he brought it to his father's house. His father was there, his mother was there, his family members. He brought it into his community. He was parading young men. Re going and doing parade and doing inspection and they are singing for him hey! and then they blow trumpet for him we saw it and what happened and then he went to a, a meeting and he said he wants to go he said go go abuja go carry buhari at home people were looking at him hey everybody was happy hey everybody was happy look at him parading this is supposed to be his show of force what followed operation python dance operation python dance followed what followed operation python dance at the end of operation python dance what did we see dead body everywhere people they cry people mama papa children where did man where they collect salute he don't run no 440 they don't see him they don't hear him voice at the end of the day after operation python dance more than a year nobody heard of him the first time i ever made a video about this man it was after operation python dance. a year later he came back from wherever he surfaced in israel and do you know his first words i'm going to nigeria i'm bringing back hell like it has never been before this is what he said and i was moved i was like you don't want to learn from your mistake look at what you have done look at what you have brought onto your people with loud mouth with stupid exhibition of parading young men with sticks calling them bsa with nothing with sticks putting everybody's life in jeopardy putting the origin in jeopardy there are children who are going to school have nothing to do with anything that you know were caught in between and cut down in their prime you don't want to know what you are doing and they don't care about what he's doing just because Buhari is in power what is this madness 
and I came out and, and I did a video that time and they wanted to cut my head but I didn't want to uh, receive that much backlash and I said well it's not my intention I don't want uh, to cause problem I don't want anything that you know that is going to bring this unity I pulled out that video do you know this guy never relented he continued after operation python dance look you see apc inside streets in neighborhoods it doesn't matter whether you are justifying it it doesn't matter whether it is right or wrong but you see the effect of what this man has done So you see what this man has done he put his own immediate family his own immediate community in jeopardy their bushes was leaped out with their body everywhere and he ran away it was nothing to him he was quiet for a year he moved on that is the first line of defense. So, so what was the impact of that BSS during Operation Python? That it's not enough to be displaying them and saying and collect salute and they will be marching and doing like this. When it was time, when push came to show, what did they do? How did they fare? Okay, so that is it. The second one, they were volunteers. They were running around. Oh, volunteers, volunteers. They are volunteers they are ready they are they are they have audition they face the military bare hand they are volunteer do you remember the audio he was playing and saying um there are some guns in Edo State. You take that one you kill someone you kill someone you kill another one you take their gun you take did you see that video it's all over the place it's all over the place this man was saying it with his mouth what happened? What followed all those ranting? Answers that you know nothing about, you carry them for your head. We are now receiving situation report from everywhere and say, yeah, okay, we are going to do like this. We are going to do like this. When the result came, did you see how he removed himself and ran and kept quiet? We saw what happened in Obibu. We saw a lot of people, just those uh, two weeks or how many, you see, you saw what it was for them. They couldn't go out, they couldn't eat, they couldn't bathe, they don't have any water, nothing. Did you see what happened at Obibo? You saw, what, what, what see those people take their eyes, see? They no fit go buy something. They no fit go buy water. They no fit eat. No market. They close everywhere because of these people. Where the man is... Yeah, yeah, they don't come up. He run. He no come as I can talk again. Now, the people don't suffer the one way happen for all people. people. The people where injure, they don't even see money treat them again. No. The people where injure, they 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 they, 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 they say bring money. They know they, they can't they contribute another money to take injure, uh, he treat those people. Okay, may you go rest now. No, wait till we see. He said he go come talk now. Everywhere don't quiet. He be like, say these people won't forget saying they exist. He don't come outside the gate, come carry young men. They show us. What is new about this? What is new about these people he's showing now? What is new? There is nothing new about these people. It's the same people that are doing obi kerenke, kerenke. Ja, 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 ja. It's the same people that are doing, we are good to go, we are good to go, ah, yeah. It's the same thing. That is nothing happening. He told you people that he has the people that are training in Israel, in Gabon, they are coming. After all this rant in 2014, 2015, if nothing, that you born in Nigeria, that, yeah, yeah, when 2017 came and you know you saw what he did he ran and closed his mouth he didn't come again he came out and said everything has been signed sealed and delivered nobody asked and what exactly did you sign seal and deliver now he now came back with this one it's that security network he now parading them <laughs> so do you think that nigeria will not be looking at you nigeria will now open their eyes and be looking at you First of all, he doesn't even have the capacity to do that. He doesn't have 
the legal capacity to come and be putting anything together this is somebody that John bill this is somebody that his group is proscribed it doesn't matter what you feel about that prescription it's against the law of the country and anywhere you present your case you are you are proscribed and that is it and you know what you are living up to that expectation they say you give a dog a bad name to hang it and the dog is living up to that expectation so what are you gonna do you're gonna hang that dog that is what they are doing they don't know that you are living up to your expectation they say uh, you are living up to their expectation they call you a terrorist organization and you're putting up a show of force in the forest with sticks this is an invitation to anarchy this is saying See me oh now here they oh notice me oh i'm here oh i hear a full grand come here now here they this is what they are doing so tomorrow now the nigeria security forces are going to come into this area because it's very very easy to know because you people may think that you are inside the forest but you just have to just ordinary google map you can just go into that place and you see where they are at you see that they just calculate the distance of the uh, arena where they are you will be able to lo localize that gis map you locate exactly where that is is and you that that is all oh, this is no brain so they say um you know ara 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 barisiana hearing that means when war is coming and the, you know the rumor of war i uh, have already gone uh, that even a lame person will escape so what is the essence of this brouhaha you have to ask yourself it's about money they want you to contribute to that outfit so you begin to contribute again again you contribute it's all about the money and it's about him remaining relevant and being in the news this is what he's doing money 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 this is his own ponzi scheme this is all positive skin so there is nothing new under the sun there is nothing new that Nandekani is doing that he has not done before it is not today that they have been posing with pictures of white people when they go for one camouflage uh, drilling or whatever they wear camouflage they will take pictures with white people this is not a new thing they feel uh, they use it and you want to use it to pull fear <laughs> nobody is afraid everybody sees through this except people who are emotionally attached that they cannot see through it everybody sees through this everybody that matters in fact they see through it and the more of this jamboree that is going on the more you can forget about any kind of support for you for you guys so my people i don't know i don't want to drag this video too long i mean this is a conversation that we can always have and uh, you know into other dimensions but for starters there is nothing going on it's all a charade don't rejoice yet if you see a conflict coming to your region and you are happy and you have to ask yourself are you ready for a conflict are you ready to bear the consequences at the brunt of a conflict do you have farms where you can escape into and be able to feed from your farm produce until the conflict is over do you have food bank do you have medicines do you have reservoir what is it that you have what is your preparation having young men without guns in the bush and running around is not preparation it's not readiness for anything when you are ready for everything everything will be taken care of are you ready to go into a conflict that everything will be put on hold no school no work no market and only your thinking will be how to survive day in day out because there will be no future everything will be daily survivor if you can make it for the next day you can make it to the next day are you ready for that what is going to be the fate of your children and the women and the elderly have you thought about that where are you going to escape to where are you going to go as refugees if you go to uh, southern cameroon they are already there they are refugees already because this same kind of conflict have put them there the southern cameroonians they are the ones that voted to go to cameroon and now they want out of cameroon so the lesson is there the lesson is always there the lesson is there in biafra in biafra we did not have food in biafra there was no international support you still don't have food you still don't have international support i don't know what this bruhaha is all about the individual states have been putting up their own individual securities have been doing what they can 
all this inflated oh they are coming they are coming they are coming but you have your security all this time you say you have bss yeah they are coming they are coming you say you have volunteer they are coming they are coming every day they are coming you don't even see the discrepancy you don't see the disconnect nobody's gonna come for you nobody's gonna come for you so my people i just want us to throw this out there because a lot of people are gonna come at me they will say yeah you don't you don't want people to da, 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 think about what you are doing look at the north look at the north look at what is going on with bokura do you see what happened in castina over the weekend over 400 children over 400 children who is bearing the brunt whether you give tacit support whether you give full support it will come down and rain in your region it's not going to rain anywhere else when the rain is falling it's going to fall on everybody if it is fire that is burning fire doesn't know boundary he doesn't know who belong he doesn't know who doesn't want belong it would burn the region you don't know what you are inviting do you know just because of this uh, lockdown people are kind of you know filled with fear and people are prepping like people the, the uncertainty is so high people are doing real prepping you can't even prep in nigeria you eat from day to day majority at the most you have a weak food and not everybody have what they can eat in a week a food supply for one week not many people have it every day you must go out and do something the freedom that you have now you are playing with it you know yesterday in my video that I was doing on facebook i was saying that uh, who knows maybe they really really want to be the jew like they really really want to lose the land completely and be real refugees everywhere and then they will have to think about how to truly truly organize themselves and go into combat to reclaim the land because right now the land is in their possession but they are playing with it they are playing with it inviting anarchy and clapping oh can you believe it who would believe that pe a people will see something like this that can degenerate into de devastation and destruction and they are clapping for it and saying yeah because they think that when it happens it's going to be the outsiders no 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 you are going to be the one that will receive the uh, end of it you will re receive the brunt of it think about what you are doing think about how you are allying a fugitive someone that is not there remember nobody chased him away he ran on his own if it was important to him he will stand his ground he will not sign the bail conditions that he does not like that is not comfortable for him that is the truth he signed it so that he can come out and be doing jambori and be receiving money and and be doing all this kind of drama and uh, inflaming it happened in this Germany. The lesson is there for everybody. When Hitler came, everybody was cheering him. At the end of the day, everybody lost together. The country lost together. Yes. It happens and it can always happen. There are always individuals like this who are megalomaniacs who come in and play on the emotions and the, the, the will of the people and raise everything down and then you have to pick up the pieces so how many times do you want to rebuild hmm? i say uh abba ambo or tuan ogwe abba nabo or tuan ogwe or nabu zogwe kato rako hmm how many times will something happen to you before you will guess it? Somebody told you that he has BSS, he parade, he parade, he parade, he parade, he parade, he parade. When uh, Operation Python dance uh, happened, they all fell. Nothing happened. They didn't have anything. No support. All the claim of uh, Russia support, and all this UN support, eight country support, ten country support, register in hundred country nothing happened now they are killing us we were only singing oh the u.n where is the world come and help us look at our picture they will be using the pictures like somebody said yesterday in my video on facebook i'm going to post that video here i think yeah that's what i will do i'll just post that video here so i don't have to repeat it yeah this is what is going on people wake up and smell the coffee a conflict <laughs> and a war is not a joke eh but if this is what the people want of course they have to have their day at the most people who have the capacity will take out their people there and then when the whole thing is over and then they will have to come and pick the remnants depending if they give it back to them mm -hmm. so 
the people that are at home, the elite, the governors that are there and are allowing this kind of thing to happen, allowing large group of young men to congregate in this manner, know you today that it, when it happens, it's going to come home in, in your in your backyard and front yard to roost. The chicken is going to come back to roost. It is your call. You do what you have to do. It is your call. And if you don't do the necessary thing, if you don't hem all this emotion, if you don't do the right thing, you don't use the money that they give you to build the roads, to build school, to, to help and ameliorate suffering in your region, you are going to bear the brunt of it as well. You're not going to have a place to to rule i'm just saying it i i don't know i feel it is too late because everybody's emotion is pumped up but it is what it is it is the fact the fact is the fact you cannot change it you cannot cry it out it's just the fact so yeah i'm just overwhelmed at this moment i think i have to leave it here so my people thank you so much if you want to leave a comment please i don't need your insult i've got enough you know and if you want to cause there's no need for you to cause me because if you have that potent uh, you know you, you i believe you have a better place to use it i mean don't you think it will be effective for the full and janja weed eh? if you know you can cause and things will begin to happen then you send the cost to the appropriate quarters i don't need it you know so i'm a i'm a blessed person my name is blessing i'm a blessing to my generation so you don't need to bring that here no 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 i don't need that and uh yeah if you want to contribute something meaningful something that we can have a conversation about if you want to disagree with it's me also no problem i want to see your fact i want to i want you to disprove my own points that i've raised you see the debate is always enlightening it's always important to also see another point of view to hear how somebody is seeing something you know so yeah thank you so much my people and hit that like button if you like the video and leave your comments and your thoughts and let's have this conversation and i'll see you very soon in another video bye for now bye